The logarithmic equations in this uh, section are really primarily designed to just give you more experience with the rules of logarithms. Now the exponential equations are actually a little more uh, realistic. But um, anyway, let's, let me give you a kind of a typical logarithmic equation. Solve log of x plus 2 base 2 plus log x minus 5 base 2 equals to 3. Well, my, uh, my first step is to uh, see that I can combine these two logarithms into a single logarithm. And that turns out to be pretty useful. So the sum rule of logarithms means that I can combine these together into a product. So I end up with log base 2 of x plus 2 times x minus 5 equals to 3. So that um, now allows us to uh, easily get rid of the logarithm by converting to exponential form. Do 2 to the third power is equal to this polynomial, x plus 2, x minus 5. So what we end up with is a, is a quadratic equation. And uh, I'm going to multiply this side, and I'll put it on the left, so it gives me x squared. We have minus 5x and plus 2x. It makes minus 3x. And then minus 10 equals to 8. 2 to the third is 8. And now let's uh, subtract 8 from both sides. So I have x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals to 0. So that puts it in position to, to factor. Now I, I rigged this problem so that it would, would factor nicely in uh, in real life, you you got to use the quadratic formula or or something worse to uh, to solve problems. But uh, this one just happens to work out rather nicely. This will factor as x minus six times x plus three equals to zero. So the roots of my equation would be six and negative three. All right. Well, we have two answers, and. Um, we really need to check them because the process of solving logarithms, like other things you've seen in this course, can lead to some false answers. And so there's this kind of built-in weakness in this process that does admit the possibility of creating uh, extraneous or, or worthless answers. So we do need to check this answer, these answers. I'm going to erase all the work here except for these answers in the original problem, and we'll check it. Okay, now to check, of course we're going to plug both numbers in. So the first one, x equals to 6, I get log of base 2 of 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, plus log of 1, base 2, equals to 3. 6 minus 5 is 1. All right, log of 8, base 2, well that would be 3 because 2 to the third power equals to 8. 3. Log of 1 in any base, recall it's going to be 0. 3 plus 0 equals to 3. That's a good solution. Let's check the other one. x equals minus 3. And here I get the log of minus 1, base 2, plus the log of minus 8, base 2 equals to 3. And that's automatically disqualified. That's a bad solution. Uh, for one thing, we do not take logarithms of negative numbers. Uh, now, the logarithms of negative numbers do in fact exist. And uh, they exist in the complex plane. I'm going to, uh, just for the fun of it, I'm going to plug this into my calculator. My calculator will do logs of negatives. It does complex numbers. And I'll use the change the base formula. So this would be log negative 1 divided by log 2 using common log or natural log. I'm going to use natural log. So natural log negative 1 divided by natural log of 2 gives me a complex number. Actually it gives me an imag strictly imaginary number. Plus um, natural log of negative 8 divided by natural log of 2 and the sum of these equals to, and this is the left side, is equal to 3 plus 
and this is an approximation 9.0647i. And so actually the left side equals to a complex number. And uh, it does not equal to just plain old three. So anyway, in case um, you, you had a thought that that might work, uh, it's, it's much more complicated, unfortunately. So, but, but the main thing is, don't even mess with these. If you get a logarithm of a negative number, the problem is over. There's no solution. At least for this, in this case, there's no solution for this number. So don't mess with logs and negatives. You get complex numbers, and we just don't deal with them in this course. So, anyway, um, but there is one good answer. X equals minus 6. So let's, let's make sure we, we highlight that. If I can find my eraser, here it is. So the only answer to this problem is x equals to 6. All right. Now, I don't want to leave the wrong impression that a negative x will give you a, a bad answer. It can go the other way, depending on how the problem is structured. So don't, don't make uh, rash assumptions based upon your answer. Plug them all in, check them all out. It's possible if you have one like this, both of them will work. It's possible that neither one will work. Um, or like like this problem it could go it could go either way. So, all right, I'm going to erase the board and and do one more of these. Here's our here's our other problem. Solve log of x plus one base three minus one equals log x minus two base three. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to approach this problem. The first way may uh, will probably seem more awkward, and uh, but we could eliminate the logarithms by raising both sides to the third power. Now, I'm not really going to recommend this is the, the best way to solve this problem, but, but I think I should show you, just because I think it's pretty interesting. So I'm going to put a bracket there, and both sides are going to make an exponent of 3. So that would, that would be legal. Now over here it gets a little funny because I'm going to split up this this exponent's really 3 log base 3 of x plus 1 times 3 to the minus 1. And on the right side, the logarithms cancel. The log cancels the 3, leaving just x minus 2. So here's where I think, uh, you know, some students will get kind of messed up here, but because you're not used to looking at, you know, strange exponents like this. But it, it, this works. Because um, remember that when you multiply two numbers of the same base, you add exponents. If I added this part to minus 1, I would get that expression. So I could take it apart this way. And what that means is, um, and this 3 in log cancels, this gives me x plus 1 times 1 third equals x minus 2. So that, uh, that's going to work. That's going to give us in the right direction. So... There's an approach. Um, let me show you the probably the more normal type of approach here, and, uh, and work it out this way, and we'll get the same result as we would would have down there. All right, so I'm going to instead uh, combine the logarithms together, and then isolate the the one. It's not a logarithm, so I'm going to literally uh, reverse these these terms in the equation. So this gives me log base 3 x plus 1 minus log base 3 x minus 2 equals to positive 1. So they'll change signs as they flip over to the other side. Now here I've got a subtraction, so that means when I combine to a single logarithm it's going to be a division. So I end up with log base 3 of x plus 1 over x minus 2 equals to 1. And now if I convert um, this to an exponential equation, or literally raise both sides to the third power, I mean raise 3 to both sides powers, either way we get um, x plus 1 or x minus 2 equals to 3. Alright, so uh, in the previous formulation the 3 was down here, the x minus 2 was over there. Same thing. If we uh, now multiply this equation by x minus 2, we'll get x plus 1 on the left because this cancels. On the right, multiply the 3 through there, we have 3x minus 6. 
And uh, 7 equals to 2x, x would equal to 7 halves. So there's, there's our answer. Um, okay, well, let's, let's check that, check that answer. Because again, uh, you know, this process of solving can introduce some false answers into it. All right, so I'm going to erase all the stuff in between so I have room to work. And I may have circled this prematurely. We'll, we'll find out if it works or not. I haven't worked this all out totally, so I, I'm not sure. But I think it will be, because at least I'm getting positive numbers up there. All right, so we'll check. And I've got the log base 3 of 7 halves plus 1 minus 1 equals log base 3 of 7 halves minus 2. Now 7 halves plus 1 would be 7 halves plus 2 halves, that's 9 halves. So this is the log base 3 of 9 halves minus 1. And here I've got the log of what? 7 halves minus 4 halves is 3 halves. 3 halves. All right. So uh, where do we go from there? This is kind of awkward because um, the fractions and the two different logarithms, and, and these are not, you know, that's not an easy number. We could, I guess, verify that on a calculator by using the change in base formula. Um, I'm not going to do that. The <clears throat> Log of 9 halves is going to be the log of 9 minus the log of 2. And I'm in base 3, so don't forget to write the base 3. But it's a quotient, so I can split this up into a subtraction. Minus 1 equals log of 3, base 3, minus the log of 2, base 3. All right, now the... Um, Log of 2 base 3, there's a negative on each side, though they would cancel. All right. And log 9 base 3 is going to be, you know, 3 squared is 9, so this is equal to 2. I have 2 minus 1 equals to 1. So it checks out. It is, it is after all, a good answer. So, so there we go. Um, that's what we have for there. All right, now we're going to move on to exponential equations and solving those.